So, this is what I was saying. It got me clear. This is what I was saying. When God is about to put you in the game, it is your job to be prepared. Why am I saying this? I am saying this because little did you know, everything is revealing itself to you. Stick with me now, stick with me. Little did you know, everything is revealing itself to you piece by piece by piece. But the problem is, is that when your gut tells you to do something, you're questioning it. When your gut is telling you, hey, why don't you like, let me tell you something, last night, I got my soundboard right here, fam. Last night, my gut told me, get up and go to the studio. It's 11 p.m., I never go out late. But let me tell you something, when your gut is telling you where to go, what to do, that is God giving you divine intervention, giving you the direction. Some of y'all get the direction and you don't follow it. The GPS will tell you, make a right, and you say, why? You're never going to understand. Like, let me tell you something. When you, when you turn on the GPS, you have to have trust that the GPS is going to get you there. Let me say that again. When you put the address in the GPS, this different now. Y'all ain't never heard this before. Y'all ain't never heard this before. When you put that address in the GPS, you have to trust that that GPS is going to get you there. But for some reason, when God gives you the address, when you put the when you tell God your destination, for some reason you don't want to trust God. You don't want to trust the universe. You don't want to trust the most high. You don't want to trust the, the uh, divine alignment. How are you willing to trust the technology more than the creator itself? And the problem is, is you wonder why are other people more successful? Why are other people more happy? Why are other people like having everything that they want? Because they have a sense of trust and a sense of faith. Remember, I told you faith is the first key to riches. Let's say it's time to go to the board. Remember, I said faith is the first key to riches. Faith is the first key to riches. Because if you have no faith, you have no belief. If you have no belief, you have no trust. If you have no trust, you have no confidence. If you have no confidence, you have no true self-love or love towards your universe. So faith is the first key. Let me move this off the way. Faith is the first key. Faith is the first key. Faith is the first key. If y'all not following me here on TikTok, please make sure y'all giving me a follow. Faith is the first key to everything. I always talk about this with the movie The Matrix. He literally said, in order to free your mind, you have to jump on the roof, like jump from roof to roof. Technically, most people wouldn't believe that they can jump from roof to roof. But the moment that you start to believe that you can, you start to break constructs within yourself. You start to break limitations that you have on yourself. But because you think you can't, all you do is make the limitation strong. You add more layers on top of you. But the moment that you say, you know what? Listen now, listen to what I'm saying. You know what? I think I can do it. Look, one limitation releases. You know what? This is why another reason why when you see successful people, all of these limitations break because you're like, well, if you could do it, I could do it. Boom, another limitation broken. If you could do it, I could do it. Oh my God, I'm really starting to believe in myself. I'm starting to see my power. Another limitation broken. Oh my God, I'm learning about my ancestors. My ancestors used to do this. I have them helping me. Oh my God, another limitation broken. But the problem is, is that you've allowed the world to plant so many limitations on you, not realizing that the word impossible is not written in ink. It's written in pencil. Let me explain that to you. When I say, the word impossible is written in pencil because 
Somebody can use the word impossible to explain something and then it can become possible and then the word impossible is no longer used to explain it. So impossible is written in pencil. It may be impossible right now, but don't think that that is not able to be erased and changed. Impossible is, somebody said, I haven't heard that before. I haven't heard that before either. I don't know where it came from. Impossible is written in pencil. And when I say impossible is written in pencil, you got to understand that all these limitations that you're trying to tell yourself, all these reasons why you think you can't be successful, is all really just an illusion. It's an illusion. So I said, do you have worksheets or any like that, anything like that available? I have the mystery school. Click the link in the bio and click, stick, click, click mystery school. Faith is the first key. So back to what I was brought here to do and what I was brought here to teach about. A lot of superstars are going to be created within 2023. A lot of, a lot of new leaders and I want to teach you this because I remember when this first happened so I call it like initiation let's call it like initiation so every now and then and I'm gonna teach you something okay every now and then the universe will pick new leaders to guide people every new couple of maybe months maybe years and during when we was in isolation, you know, a couple years ago, when we was in isolation, a whole bunch of new leaders came to the forefront and started, you know, blowing up or making art or starting to like getting attention or starting to finally have a fan base or starting to find A lot of y'all are about to like, we're about to get to another initiation phase where a lot of y'all are about to start receiving some of y'all manifestations because everything that you have been prepared for prior to this was to prepare you to be a great leader so when somebody hurt your feelings or when somebody was overly egotistical and you saw that behavior the reason why was because the universe wanted to show you who you should not be when you came across people who were completely greedy and rude and narcissistic the universe was showing you this and allowing you to be hurt by these people so you know this is who you shouldn't be when i give you the crown because you got to understand that what i'm about to give you this is the universe what i'm about to give you takes a lot of responsibility we don't want to keep giving people power who don't deserve it who can't take it who can't lead effectively if you say you're going to bring your people up we need to make sure that you're actually a, a man of your word a woman of your word that you have an impeccable word right so a lot of y'all need to understand that I keep saying preparation, 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 because a little do y'all know some of y'all name is about to be called. Mm. Little did you know some of y'all name is about to get called. And when you start getting money, when you start getting abundance, when you start, don't start acting funny. Don't start acting like, don't start acting like you better than people. Don't start acting like. People can't get on your level. Don't, don't start don't start calling people broke. Don't start don't start doing stuff like that. Because you're becoming the very thing that you used to despise. So some of y'all join the mystery school and don't even realize that your graduation is you becoming a leader. Some of y'all come on these lives and you're learning, 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 don't even realize that the only thing you're learning is for so you can become a better leader. So you can continue to help people. So you can continue to share this knowledge. I don't share this knowledge with you for, for the fun of it. I share this knowledge with you because you're going to change and then you're going to share that knowledge. And this is how we create a ripple effect in life. Some of y'all are going to be very big leaders in y'all family. Some of y'all are going to have big fan bases. Some of y'all are also going to be freaking famous. Some of y'all are also going to be wealthy. Some of y'all are going to be great inventors, great designers. You get what I'm saying? So it's like we have to be all in one accord, realizing that we are the future. We are the ones that will build the new companies, build the new the new um, companies. You know what I'm saying? And how how do we treat people? How will we build? How will we lead communities? And it's important for us to examine and observe how people are doing it today and realizing this is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. And this is how we should be doing it. You get what I'm saying? 
So when I tell you prepare, I've been telling you to prepare because little did you know, your name is about to get called. You're about to get checked into the game. When God is ready to put you in the game, it is your job to be prepared. So have you been doing the work? Have you been doing the work that God has been telling you? When God isolated you, when the universe isolated you, when the Most High, your ancestors isolated you, did you take the time to love yourself more? Did you take the time to have better boundaries? Did you take the time to protect yourself? God has prepared a place for you. It's already made. It's already done. They're just waiting for you to get to a level of awareness to be like, you know what? I deserve this. And the moment that you say that you deserve it, that's when it pops up. Make sure y'all go ahead and check out my crystal shop. Y'all see I got my, I always got my crystals with me. The link is in the bio. Click crystal shop. We getting some more crystals soon. And make sure y'all go ahead and get that ebook. We getting some more crystals soon. That just got me excited. God has prepared a place for you. Yep. I talk with my ancestors every day, but how can I get close to them? Offerings. What are your ancestors like? Create an altar. Speak to them. You know what I'm saying? Say prayers to them. Love on them. Speak of them. Like, here's another thing. Some of y'all want to receive from your ancestors in public, but you want to give them love in private. You get what I'm saying? Some of y'all don't even want to give praise to y'all ancestors out in the world. Some of y'all don't even want to let people know, like, who, like, who you love and who you working with. Some of y'all try to keep it a secret. Oh, you working? Like, for example, like, I let people know Isis, Ma'a. I speak of their name because that's how you continue to keep them alive. Show them love. Don't just use them in private and then don't just use them in public and then give them recognition in private. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be real with you. Like nowadays, like, and this is just for my season right now. This is just for my season right now. For some reason, I feel like, for some reason, I feel like I haven't even been manifesting much because I feel like we're in the season of reaping. I feel like we're in the reaping season now. I don't feel like it's the season to be trying to plant new seeds. Therefore, you can. This is what I feel. Now, if you feel differently, remember, we all in two different energetic fields. In my energy right now, I feel like we've planted so many seeds. We done did so many lives manifesting what we want. I feel like now it's just about being ready, being in that place, being ready to receive, being at the door when the package comes, being mentally there, like, that that that's just what I see. That's what I feel. Energetically. It's harvest season. Exactly. Like it feels like it's really harvest season. It doesn't feel like this is the time to like like plant, 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 plant. I feel like this is the time to continue watering your seeds and continuously allowing them to sprout. You know what I mean? Hold on, I'm trying to make sure. You know? And I just like the biggest thing that I want to tell you is just that there will be a lot of eyes on you and it's your job to show up. Ooh, ooh. There will be a lot of eyes on you and it is your job to show up, baby. It's your job to show up. Nobody else's but yours. You get what I'm saying? We both said, ooh, at the same time, for real. Yeah, man. Because it's just like, and this is really like, like, and, I'm a, and, and let me talk to you. Let me talk to you, real talk. Let me talk to you. Because a lot of y'all don't, like, I don't want to say y'all don't understand, but a lot of y'all, some of y'all have been here before, and you've seen me speak things into reality. You've seen me say, hey, this is about to happen, and it happened. And I want to ask y'all, how many of y'all have experienced me saying, oh, this is about to happen and it happened? How many of y'all have experienced that? I guess you can call it clairvoyance, claircognizance, something like that.
and do and have. Okay, cool. So what I'm trying to tell you is that in this next season, we're finally going to get recognized for what we do. In this next season, we're finally going to be seen for who we truly are. In this next season, like, and, and, and you want to know what's the crazy thing about it? The crazy thing about it is that it seems like the least I try, the more I get. Come on. And you know what's crazy? That's what my shirt says. My shirt literally said, we made this shirt. I made this shirt. My shirt literally says, attract, don't chase. My shirt literally says, attract, don't chase. That's what my shirt says. My shirt says, attract, don't chase. And it's crazy because my friend called me today. He's like, man, I worked an hour less yesterday, but I made more than what I usually do. I said, because it's the law of least effort. I said, I'm not here, like, I'm not in the energy right now to sit here and be in, like, hustler, 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 hustler mer mode, murder. Like, I'm Memphis, murder. Hustler, hustler mode. That doesn't mean that there's not a season for hustler mode. That's another thing, too. Like, there's going to be a season for hustler mode, but it's not even really going to be hustler mode. Because the thing about it is that you're just going to be starting something new or you're going to be so excited about something that you're not going to want to stop. That's why it's called you could call it hustler mode. If you have to force yourself to continue like, I gotta get up, I gotta do this, then you need to re, re, you need to revisit what it is that you're doing. If you feel like you have to force yourself to do it. Because certain things you should wanna do because it's your, it's your purpose, it's your passion. Y'all make sure y'all go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And with that being said, y'all go ahead and check out my new single, Clarity. I just dropped a new song, Clarity. Click the link in my bio, click Sticks' music. If you want to go listen to it, it's very spiritual, it's very beautiful, it sounds good, okay? Just want to say that.